Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Jurassic Cantina. It gives me great pleasure to show you today the Kenner Jurassic Park Electronic Command Compound Playset from 1993. This is a vintage toy that I never personally owned as a child, but my brother did and I got plenty of time playing with his. We would get all of our JP dinos and uh, we'd spend literally hours just playing with this thing. I'm quite confident that this is one of the best toys ever produced and once I get it unboxed and reviewed, I am confident that you will feel the same. I'm not going to be doing the review in this specific video. This is part one, which is just going to be strictly the unboxing where we'll look at all the contents that come inside the box and then in a future video, we will do the actual review of the product. So just looking here at the packaging, it comes as no surprise that this is absolutely stunning. Visually speaking, the aesthetic here is amazing. I absolutely love the dioramas that Kenner created for the Jurassic Park toy line and I think they did a tremendous job with this particular set here because not only do you have the command compound itself and all of the action figures and dinos that are sold separately as a visual representation of what you can do, but you also have an actual diorama. You have like the trees, you have uh, the sand. It kind of looks like the area in which we saw the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park. I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but it definitely does resemble that area, minus the mountains. You get a little kid there enjoying the command compound, and then uh, the background is just the red, orange, and yellow coloration that was absolutely iconic. Even back in the day, but I think even now, it still holds up as some of the best packaging ever produced by any toy company. The Jurassic Park logo looms large there on the box, says ages four and up. I really like how at the bottom it says electronic talking computer with over 100 phrases. It's just funny how they worded it, electronic talking computer. Like nowadays, it probably wouldn't really say something like that. Just, but back in 1993, this was pretty high-end technology. Uh, down at the bottom, it says that it requires four AA batteries. And then it says dyno damage gates, walls and windows, fence alarm system, net and missile launchers. Assembly required figures and dinosaurs sold separately. And then you can see there's a price tag from KB Toys on the upper right. Original price for this was $64.99 and then it looks like it was marked down to $29.99. Can you imagine picking this up for $30? Uh, wow, <laughs> I wish I would have paid $30 for it, but I uh, had to get it on the secondary market and I had to pay a premium to get it, I will admit, but I'm happy to finally have it after 23 years. It also indicates below the price tag another sticker uh, from KB Toys that they recommend Panasonic Alkaline Batteries. Okay, on one side of the box we see the Kenner Jurassic Park Electronic Command Compound playset and uh, basically shows you everything that you get uh, from both angles, from both the front and from the back. And there's a little demonstration on the lower left with the Robert Muldoon figure. It says, fence out, dinosaurs attacking. An electronic computer announces over 100 phrases. Imagine that, you would never see something like that today. And then it says, press a button for security alert, dinosaur tally or hatchery report. The opposite side is the exact same thing. And then the back of the box is quite similar to what we see on the front, only you have the dinosaurs being a little more interactive in this photo. You can see the T-Rex there in the back, ripping off a part of the balcony area. You get the same look on the left side of the computer that we saw on both sides of the box. And it says the same thing about announcing 100 different phrases. Below that photo, it also shows you Dino Damage Window, Dino Damage Wall, and Dino Damage Catwalk. You get some images of what that sort of damage looks like, and then it says Dino Damage Breaks Away When Dinos Attack. Pieces fit back in easily. And then to the right of that, you see an image of the Robert Muldoon figure once again. It says, fire trank missile to stop an attack. On the lower right, there's an image of the Tim Murphy figure launching a net and it says, launch net to capture an escaping dinosaur. Below that, you get your proof of purchase. It says, uh, in the interest of better quality and value, some items may appear different than they do on the box. And then absolutely love this little saying right here. Look for this brand on all official Jurassic Park dinosaurs. If it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct. The top of the box shows us a look at the command compound from the backside. It says, gate can break in or out. Dino damage pieces fit together easily. Another look at that computer on the right side. A look at the net launcher below that, as well as the diagnostic screen and hypodermic injector. Then it shows you that inside the compound, you get the crow's nest, the catwalk, the electronic computer console with alarm light, electronic computer probe, and hatchery with eggs. To the left of that, you see the Trank launcher gun, and then the same information 
that we saw in the back of the box regarding the breakaway panels. I especially like the look of the Jeep right there as it's breaking through the JP gates. That's pretty cool. And then looking at the very bottom of the box, it's the exact same thing that we saw on the top. So as you can see, you guys, this box is taped shut as it would have been from the factory. And we're going to break that seal after 23 years. Uh, it's kind of painful to do that because this toy has survived in the box for so long. But what kind of unboxing would this be if we didn't do that? More tape on this side going all the way down. And yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and break this seal and see what's inside this very old very cool kenner jp box all right you guys i'm nervous but this has got to be done I do want to be careful because i do want to keep this box after i get it opened up The seal is broken, my friends, after 23 years. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Uh, first of all, it does say, we really do care, and gives you a phone number there in case you want to call and leave them some feedback. So keep that in mind. Number might be out of service, though, just a word of warning. And then we have a piece of cardboard inside the box right there and it looks like it all comes out in one piece maybe ah so we have our fences here which as you can see all come in this very nice cardboard piece that way uh, they don't do not get damaged uh, over time or in transit or what have you so this is pretty nice very nice to see them uh, caring and actually maintaining them like that because if they were just thrown in there, no doubt these would all be misshapen and deformed. And then farther back in there, we can see the visitor center itself. So let's go ahead and pull that out. Looks like we have a couple pieces of the Jurassic Park gate. Here's the uh, catwalk of the JP Command compound. And uh, inside the bottom part of the visitor center, we have some plastic bags. Get some of the parts to get that set up. More parts inside this one as well. And then uh, more parts here too. I think this is for the net launcher possibly. I guess we'll see. And then uh, it looks like this is two pieces, uh, or more actually, the uh, bottom part of the visitor center right there. And that looks quite cool. This is basically like a, a teal color, very 90s looking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. Very lightweight, I'm gonna say, very, very lightweight. And then there's still more inside the box. Let's see what else we got. We got a bag that has more toys or more parts in it. Looks like that's the door for the visitor center. That's the net launcher right there. And then uh, I think this is parts for the hatchery perhaps. Uh, more parts for the gate. We have the doors. Very, very nice. Um, really love the, always have loved the gates on these play sets. And then yet more parts in here too. This is the uh, computer system right here. Very cool. With the little light on it. And yeah, <laughs> it's not going to work until we get the batteries in there. So this is what it looks like, guys. Brand new out of the box. There's also the roof. Right in here, brand spanking new, beautiful. 
And uh, you may have noticed that there's this little insert here in the box that protects the roof. And it was just kind of holding it in place, which is quite nice. And let's see, we get our sticker sheet right here. And it's got all the stickers on it that we need to uh, decorate our command compound. Very, very cool stuff all around. And then we also get an instruction sheet. It says Jurassic Park label application for the command compound playset. And um, pretty detailed instructions there. Shows you how to uh, put the stickers on here. And there's quite a few places to put them. So uh, it does tell you one time assembly once assembled cannot be taken apart. So I guess once we get a lot of these things uh, put together, we're not gonna be taking them apart. So that is good to know, though I doubt I will ever need to take it apart. And the back shows you the assembly of gate and fences and uh, some information on how to do that. And then more information on the net launcher and then operation of the security panel, which is the computer, uh, the gates, that little gun right there, and of course, Kenner down here at the bottom. So this is super cool, guys, and it's not even faded, doesn't look discolored, it, it looks great. Very, very nice. And then looking inside the box, there's nothing left. We've taken everything out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. That was our unboxing of the Kenner Jurassic Park Electronic Command Compound Playset from 1993. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do in getting the command compound fully assembled and ready to welcome dinosaurs and visitors through its gates. And I'm quite excited about this prospect of being able to do this on my own 23 years later. And uh, it's especially cool to finally have my very own JP command compound because come on, this is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm very impressed already with, with what I'm seeing and it's bringing back quite a few memories to being an eight-year-old kid playing around with Jurassic Park dinosaurs. I do intend to photograph every single piece that came in here just to catalog what everything looked like before it was assembled. I think that will come in handy to people in the future. But that being said, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, then I do encourage you to please like and subscribe and stay tuned because in part two, we will be doing a full and comprehensive review of the Jurassic Park Command Compound. Until then, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for the latest news and updates. Till next time, my friends. Bye-bye.